I'm here in the town of Goris, just 25 kilometers from the border of Azerbaijan, where thousands of refugees have been arriving all throughout last night and continue to arrive this morning. And you can really see the town starting to fill up. You've got hundreds of vehicles parked along the streets, ambulances bringing in the sick and injured, and lots of families queuing to get blankets, food and hygiene from local charity groups. Now, in the theater, local theater behind me, the refugees are registered by the Red Cross um, and usually they would be sheltered there. But now that the town is filling up quickly and has almost reached its full capacity, local authorities have started to send refugees in vans and buses to other towns in the region. Now, some of them are also heading for Yerevan because they have family there. Now, a lot of these uh, refugees are exhausted, lost, still grieving over what they've left behind. And they understand that Goris is simply a transit point but they have no plan of what to do next, where to go next. Um, a lot of them I spoke to this morning are very worried. They've just come from Stepanakert, uh, where a gas warehouse explosion took place last night, killing 200 people. So they were desperately trying to reach uh, their friends and relatives there. And later today, we're expecting the visit of USAID Administrator Samantha Power here in Goris, who's expected to hold a press conference on how the US can support Armenia and help with sending international aid.